Hello, this is the Washberry Pi project, which is about controlling a washing machine with a Raspberry Pi. To do so, we are going to remove all the control electronics out of this washing machine and give our Pi control over all the sensors and actuators of this machine, like the water level sensor, the solenoid valve, the water flow switch, and so on. Today, in this first episode, we are going to start with the electric motor of the machine that drives the drum via this belt drive here. So, this used to be the original control circuit for the electric motor, which we are going to remove and replace by our own motor controller. And the first step was to reverse engineer the pin out of the electric motor. So, as you can see here, it has a 7-pole connector and I finally managed to reverse engineer its pin out. So this is the result. I found that pins one and two are for the inductive speed sensor of the motor, which here I'm connecting via an oscilloscope probe head to quite an old fashioned oscilloscope such that we can monitor the speed sensor signal. Then pins three and four on this machine were found to be for the rotor coil of the motor going via its brushes and then it turns out that there are three more pins, five, six, and seven, for the two stator coils of this motor. There's a long one and a short one. Now for testing purposes, I connected the rotor coil and the two stator coils in series and plugged it into this DC lab power supply. Usually the motor is designed for 230 volts AC grid voltage, but now let's see how much voltage we actually need to get it into motion. And as you can see here, less than 10 volts is enough to start the motor. And looking at the oscilloscope, we can see that the speed sensor signal is also there. I'm further increasing the voltage, 20 volts, 25, 30 volts. Now this is the maximum that my lab power supply can provide. And you can see that already at 30 volts, this motor is spinning quite nicely. And now let's have a closer look at the speed sensor signal. So I'm decreasing the motor speed, increasing it again, decreasing it, and increasing it. And you can see that as the motor speed is increasing, both amplitude and frequency of this monitor signal are also increasing. 